Krylandyke heading north on Kaya Governor Nicholas de Brot. Whoops! Another pothole. You know you're on the main road by the seemingly endless stretches of uneven crumbling patchwork. But hey, we had our car here four whole years before we had to replace the struts. We're heading to the something special dive site entrance. We see the familiar Between Two Buns restaurant and take a left. Sapphire blue waters slowly fill our windshield, reminding us that nature is the real treasure here. Turn right. The shore entrance to the something special dive site. Hey guys, welcome back. This marks our 30th episode on A Diver's Life, and so what we thought we'd do is take you back to the something special dive site uh, and add a little twist to things. So in this particular episode, we have uh, decided to add macro uh, in addition to our normal wide-angle filming, so we think it'll add a, lot, a new aspect to what you're used to seeing on the channel. Uh, you're going to see some amazing fish, and if you like reef ID, uh, this is the place to see it. Because um, we're going to be uh, doing a lot more reef identification than we have in a while. We have uh, frogfish, we're seeing um, small puffer fish, we're going to see a siphonophore, and we watch how other uh, reef fish actually feed on that. We're going to see a golden juvenile coney, which is absolutely gorgeous and really a whole lot more in terms of the macro perspective. But also what you're going to see is during the dive, we actually headed toward the uh, inlet to Harbor Village Marina, and we got an invasion of fish like, it was absolutely incredible. We have, we're, we're swimming along and we, we have a Jack Valley, it comes flying by me, and then we get some horse side jacks and tarpon. And what they were after was this huge school of big eye scad coming into the channel. It is incredible. And so you've got macro, you've got wide angle, a lot of great stuff going on. Just a quick update on our boat. It's actually shipping on the way here, so uh, we're going to get to have a little bit of excitement going down the road. And I actually plan on us talking to you about the whole process we went through to actually buy a boat, use for diving, and having it shipped here to the islands. Uh, it was a challenge, but we think this dive is going to be great. This is the first time we've introduced macro into the video, and uh, one of the challenges that you have here on the island is you can't use tripods, so your buoyancy has to be really good, and we just like to hear what you think about this new aspect of, of uh, filming on a diver's life. If you like it, there are things that you would change a little bit differently we're, we're, we're open to to your comments so we look forward to it so real quick we've, we've done this before but you basically go out here and there's some coral trees out at the edge of the wall and you head towards the harbor village entrance so with that let's go diving This is the story of two divers who left the corporate world and moved to Bonaire to live a diver's life by the sea. Many only dream about this life. Our hope is to inspire you through our experiences and stories so that you can live the dream too. This is a diver's life. The water and sky, reflection in my eye, and it's true. So true that my life, that my life is a she shy.
the something special shallows. Small fish seek refuge in these calm waters. In the macro world, you find smaller fish use colors and patterns to blend in. The glass or masked goby is transparent and hard to see. This red lip blenny tries to blend into the background. This spotted trunkfish hides between mooring blocks. The sharp tail snake eel forages for small invertebrates like crabs in the rubble. The spots pass by like lights on a train, putting you in a trance, if only for a moment. The sunlight streams down to expose coral trees as you approach the drop-off. A closer look reveals staghorn coral fragments that will be transplanted to form new coral gardens, closely monitored by banded butterfly fish. We leave the coral trees and head north towards the something special dive mooring. Jawfish pop up along the way for a look at around six to nine meters. This small pink frogfish blends in with this pink sponge. Who is this human staring at me? Some rare gray angelfish. This stoplight parafish helps keep the reef clean. Fish like to hide for protection. The secretary blenny is hard to spot in burrows at only a couple of centimeters long. Corkscrew anemones live in dark recesses and have a mild sting. Sea anemones use stinging tentacles to ensnare their prey. A coney. A butter hamlet. A yellow frogfish. The diversity of marine life here is amazing. Christmas tree worms are beautiful. Doreen inspects the coral head. What is hiding underneath? A gold-faced toby and sharp-nosed puffer. a creole fish and its parasitic isopod. Schoolmaster snappers. Let's proceed over the wall and head north. Black bar soldier fish. A yellow trumpet fish.
a Grazebee. Their fins are used to wedge into the coral. A bicolored damselfish and fairy basslet. A white spotted moray. The shark nosed goby are cleaner fish. Open wide. White star sheet coral. One last look at the surface. We descend and head toward the mouth of the Harbor Village Channel entrance. It is five o'clock and the Creorass and Brown Chromis are on the move. We reach the base of the channel. A look up and we see grass eels poking their heads out of the sand. Wait, in the calm we feel a presence. A large horse-eyed jack and tarpon pass next to us. A school of big eye scad. The school is massive and it's food for these fish. We can actually feel a current from the school swimming down the wall. Large Crevalli Jack, almost a meter long, attack in from below. French angelfish flee for cover. As quickly as it started, it ends as the scads swim off. A pair of sand divers. A spotted scorpion fish. We begin our swim south back to the dive entrance. A red tailed parrotfish sits at the base of the wall. A huge siphonophore slithers across the top of the reef. A closer look reveals a colony of hydrozoids. Here they provide food for this puffer and white spotted filefish. An adorable balloonfish gives us a wary look. A rare golden juvenile coney.
the Something Special dive site never disappoints. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and hit the subscribe button and the bell. It goes a long way to supporting this channel and helps you to know when new content is released. Thank you for watching.